Uh, industry voltages. This is something I've always wanted to teach, and I don't think you're ever going to learn this anywhere else except right here. Let's talk about terms. What are industry voltage? Number one is a term reference nominal system voltage. And I, I remember reading this for many years in the code. I, I just, okay, nominal system voltage. I didn't really understand what it meant. It's like a two by four. I don't know if they make two by fours anymore. <laughs> but if they did make two by fours, they're two by four. Well, it's a nominal two by four. It's not two by four. It means it's about two by four. Uh, Eric, see if we can find out what nominal means. I'm just curious about that. <clears throat> so a 2 by 4 is a nominal 2 by 4. It's really not 2 by 4. A, one, a nominal voltage system is really not that voltage. It's kind of like, it, it's like a 2 by 4, but it's not really 2 by 4. And it's like 12240. Well, it's not really 12240, but kind of like 12240. And, and the reason this is because you're going to see as we, we'd have to really maybe look at this again after we cover all the other voltages to understand what nominal means. Mm. Nominal is like, let's just give it some value that we can talk about. So if we're doing calculations, that at least we got some number to work from that's not real, but at least it's something. Eric? Yeah, interesting. Mid-15th mid century, so 1400s, from Latin nominalis pertaining to name or names. So the meaning is in name only. Oh. It's kind of like primary, secondary, yeah. it's, it's x-ray, right. it, it, it's, it it's don't, like, don't think it means what it says. Well, it's not it's, really yeah. 240, but it's 240 in name only. We're just going to call yeah. it 240. You've got to give it a name. Yeah, you've yeah, got to give, give it a name. name. So we're going to call it 240. It's a 122240. Right. Okay, it's a nominal, and then in name only, it's a 122240. So now, in the National Decode, uh, Mario, you can give us a code reference about that. Sure. In the National Decode, it says that when you're doing electrical calculations, and Mario, I'll let Mario, it's a 220 dot. 220. Or might be five. I don't know if it's. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, here we go. It's a 220.5A. Okay. Voltages. What does it say? Okay. Unless other voltages are specified for the purpose of calculating branch circuits and feeder loads, nominal system voltages, and then it goes on to say 120, uh, 120 to 40, 208Y slash 120, 240, 480, 277, 480. So, okay, so it's given. All right, so here we go. So, whenever I do a calculation, I'm going to be giving you nominal system voltages as examples. That's all. All right, we'll go on. Okay, utility voltage range. So we have in name only nominal system voltage 120, 240, 120, 208, three phase, two whatever. It's just a name only. Now we're getting into the electric utility. If we're wiring buildings, we actually have to have a knowledge what kind of voltage is coming into this building. And the utility has to give us voltage. Today's voltage, let's just simply make it simple. Um, let's talk about a 12240 volt system. It, it used to be utility was giving us uh, 115 230. And it used to be they were giving us 110 220. Right. And so what happened was when they were giving us 110 to 20 years ago, the utilities have the ability to to tap their transformers in a way that they could up the voltage and they could up the voltage five percent so there's it's there was an inherent tap that in other words if you were if the utility sent power out to somewhere 110 220 and all of a sudden there wasn't enough voltage they were able to go out to the transformer and make a, a change in the connection of the winding and raise it up five percent I mean, yeah, 5%. So 5% of 110 got you to 115. And so they ha they've done this, they did it so much across the country, they realized, you know what? Let's just make the new system voltage, the new nominal system voltage to be 115. So then they came out with a whole new set of transformers that would be 115 volts, 230. And then of course, as the loads got added more and more and more, 
they had to go back out there and add a tap to 5% more voltage. And the 5% more voltage went up to 120 volts. So then it became the standard and they tapped it. So when you hear somebody talking about a 110, and they might have houses at 110, and maybe 115, when they're, I'm sure there are transfers out there giving 115, and 120 is because it's the history of the voltages. So today, nominal system voltage is 120, let's say 240. And so there's an ANSI standard for utilities. It says, and according to ANSI C84.1, actually table or column A in this table, the utility voltage must not be more than 105%. That's the history of the taps for all time. Um, no more than 5% more than whatever the rating, the nominal system voltage is. Okay, that's in other words, they, they have to give you no more than 15% more than 120 volts. I mean, 5% more than 120 volts. And also, they have to give the customer a voltage no less than 90% of the nominal system volt. In other words, the utility is required to deliver to the customer something the customer can depend on to know. It's not going to be more than 115, not more than 105% more than nominal, and it's not going to be less than 90% of nominal system voltage. So on a 120, 240 volt system, um, they would give you not less than, okay, not less than 108 volts because that's going to be 90%. And 216 volts, that's gonna be 90%. And not more than 126, 252. 105, uh, yeah, 90 and yeah, 105. 105. What did I, I say? The, you said 90% for both, it's 90%. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 90% was a 108 to 16. Right. We, let's add a note there. And then not more than 126, 252, which is 5% above it. Right. Right. Um, pretty much, if you went to old neighborhoods, you're going to see that voltage is not going to be 126. It's going to be a lot lower. Newer ones, you know, it's going to be more, I mean, 120, it'd be less than 120. Uh, newer facilities, uh, the higher voltage levels, you're going to get up to like 252. Um, that'd be surprising. You're like, well, I thought it was 240. Well, it's, it's, it's a name only. It's 252, right? So I guess <clears throat> my mind for the first time is wandering here as you're saying this, and I guess I never really thought about this. So are you saying the transformers at the individual facilities or did the utility raise their voltage, which raised everybody's voltage? Well, it worked the transformers at the substation or the transformer at the guy's house? It w it's a, U okay. That's I'm, my, the, I'm the, trying to understand what you're saying. That, the, the voltage that came in, all the transformers would have the same thing because they had taps. You, 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 you had a little spot right here. So you're saying they went around and retapped all the transformers. Well, not all of them. I'm just saying you have a customer, you can, you can change the voltage system, and I, and I could be wrong where they made those connections at because the utility distribution system, the history of the actual, it's, there was what, 12,470, and then it went up to 12,8 uh, you know, kV, and then it went up to 13,2, and then it went up to 14,4. You follow what I'm saying? Okay, Come so in, it yeah. wasn't that that was changing everybody's voltage, it was some, it was, down the line at the transformer, not just the creeping up of the voltage on the utility side. Now that you mention what you're saying, probably they changed the the 12470 transformer, yeah. and they made that okay. Well, five percent more than that, it's going to be 128. Oh, that, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, if I, it was it was them creeping it up, and it didn't really change out at the street. I don't know enough about the individual ones where there was gotcha. taps on the individual gotcha. ones. That, that, that I'm not aware of. You're probably right. Gotcha. They probably don't have it there. Is that the, the system voltage went up 5% from 12,470 to 12.8, and then it was 13.2, uh, okay, right. then it was 13.8, and then it's 14.4. So you're living at the same house. and oh, Well, that explains light bulbs too, right? Because they kept creeping up the voltage on uh, regular tungsten filament light bulbs. So you could be living at the same house, and you I mean, if you, I guess a long time you'd have yeah. to be there. but. You could have had 115 volts and then... 110. Or 110. And that would have been 12,470. 126. <laughs> right, and it, it now moves up and up and up. So it's a good point. You bring that... Well, when we upgrade our distribution system... See, when somebody says, hey, Mike, I got 12,470, I know that is an old... It's not 13,8. It's not... And when you see 13,8, well, no, today it's 14,4. Gotcha. Utility distribution voltage is 14,4, uh, you know, phase to phase. 
So you had 12, because I remember one time years ago, I heard about 12,470, and then I heard about 12.8, then I heard about 13.2, and I heard about 13.8, and I heard about 14.4. I didn't understand that until we learned, okay, the utilities had to keep raising up their voltage because the demands, and we talked about voltage drop, right? And you put greater demands on the same wires that are already there. Right. So the only way that we can get that current to get back down again is to bring that voltage up to bring it back down again. Okay. So we have utility voltages today when it's the premises, not the distribution voltage. The premises now is going to be plus five, which it always was. That's an ANSI standard. No more than 90 or less, no, no more than 10% voltage drop. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Plus five or 90% which is not a big deal. I'm just saying this because you might put a voltmeter somewhere and it's like, this is only, you know, what well, could be less, you know, whatever, it could be 216. Oh, I've, I've seen 126 volts before and, and at a house. Yeah. 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 Well, and, yeah. and, and then your appliances and all the equipment that you purchase are made to operate within a tolerance. Yeah, we're right. gonna get to it right now. We're gonna get to that. Oh, we are, okay. Yeah, we're gonna get to it right now. But the important thing is those light bulbs that used to be fine, they might not be lasting very long anymore. Right, oh, that's right. Exactly those right. light bulbs were, if you look at the old light bulbs, they said 110 volts on them. I've, I've got one in there. Right. right. Yeah. It says 110 volts. Well, now you got 120 volt nominal and you got the 126 volts. Well, as you raise up the voltage, right, then, then what happens to the power? Right. You know, it's gonna be squared, right? Voltage. Uh, powers by the square of the voltage. It's a nice bright light bulb for a little while. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was going to say something, take it back of a hammer and tap an incandescent bulb when you're in a dark room for a little bit brighter light there. All right, so the nominal system voltage, the actual voltage would be, I'm not quite sure if this was the numbers, I think that was supposed to be 108 by 216. Uh, the actual voltage, now Now we're talking about actual, this is what electricians are measuring, right? The actual voltage at any point in the electrical system is the voltage that's measured by the voltmeter. So you take a voltmeter here and it's 228. But Mario, we don't size the wire, we don't do any calculations based upon the actual, actual voltage. voltage. We got to right. go with in name only, <laughs> use the nominal system voltage and that's, right. that's what we're going to do. You know, it could be less. It could be higher, and it's close enough. Equipment bolts, Tom, what you're leading up to. Understanding the history of the electric utility distribution system that they migrated from their 12, 4, 12 470, and they went to then a 12.8 uh, 12 and 13.2 and 13.8 and 14.4, subsequently going from 110 volts to 115 volts to 120 volts, the equipment manufacturers used to make light bulbs at 110, right? Well, those standards of equipment had to change also to follow it. As a matter of fact, recently I noticed, well, a lot of equipment now is rated 100 volts or 250 volts, right? right. Electronic yeah. load. Electronic. So that would, we kind of resolve some of those problems. Right. But we also talk about equipment like a radiant heating loads, that it gives you a certain power at a certain voltage. You start raising the voltage, right. so you could have some heater in some house operating at 252 volts. Well, take 240, you know, and take 252, which could be 5% more, take the square of that. That means that heater is going to be giving you a lot more heat than 10 kW. Hmm. But then again, you can take the same resistive load and operate it at 90%, which is 81%, right? Because it's a square. We talked about the powers by the square of the voltage. So now you're getting only 81%. So now it's an 8 kW heater in one house. The other house is probably, I don't know what, 105% squared comes out to be times 10. <coughs> Mario, you have that? Yeah. So it would be not a 10 kW, maybe it's 11 kW. Heat. It's a 1050. 10.5 kW heat. Yeah. Okay, so we just got to understand that equipment has voltage ratings. Um, now, the equipment manufacturers themselves, and this is something, I don't know how long this has been this way, but the manufacturer says, listen, that this, I don't know what standard this is here, equipment must be connected to a nominal in accordance with the specifications, the minimum, find out what standards is, the minimum voltage of the load cannot be less than 90% of the nominal system voltage. I got a little bit of problem here because the utility can give me 90% of the nominal system voltage. And now this is saying, well, the load, the equipment itself at the load has to have at least 90% of the nominal system voltage. And we also determined that previously that 90% of 120 was 108. And if you take a look at ballast, I'm not quite sure 
or instructions somewhere I've seen this, and it'll say the minimum voltage is 108 volts. I've seen that. Have you seen that? In other words, there's somewhere in, and, and, I, and I thought equipment was rated 115, 230, but it looks like standards are changing that they're actually rating things at some equipment to nominal system voltage. We, we'll get into motors here in a little time, shortly here. Here we are, motors. Motors must be connected to nominal voltage in accordance with the specifications, and we have to give the standard on that. The I minimum, got that one. You got that? Yeah, for motors, it's uh, NEMA MG1 standard. Okay, and the other one you can, we'll find out, make sure it's in the textbook there, about what the standard is. So motors is 90% of a nameplate. One second, yeah, 90% of the motor nameplate. Watch this. Motors is 90% of the motor nameplate, but the other one on equipment was 90% of the nominal system voltage of the equipment. So motors, I think, have been around for so long, they're rated 115, 230. I think I saw something recently where a motor was rated actually 120, 240. I thought I saw something recently. When I was clicking through uh, nameplates a little while ago, I saw quite a few that had 120. I, 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 so. Really? It, yeah. yeah, so it's now in the code book, Mario, if we take a look at the table, not now, you don't have to get a code book, but I'm giving you information why I'm telling you why. The code book has a table 430.248 for single phase motors. Let's just use that for simple. And it says in there, it says, listen, and the table lists the motors at 115. Right. It's what the table lists. You look at the table, you say, well, what do I do if I have 120? Well, the table says, look, the values on this table, and there's notes on there, you can use these values for 110, 115, or 120. So when we're doing calculation when it comes to motors, we're not going to be worried about what is the voltage rating. We just simply, but I wanted you to know, well, why is it 110 and 115, 120? Well, it's a history of voltages are changing, and, you know, it's been 100 years, and we're upgrading, and so it's 90% of the nominal system voltage for equipment, it's 90% of the nameplate rating of motors the, because it's, the loads need to have a certain amount of voltage to be able to operate. And so we have to know this was designed to give you this many uh, BTUs of heat or this is designed to give you a certain amount of horsepower rating output. Well, we need to be able to have the voltage to drive it. Mario. So, so Mike, the, the voltage rating is the same standard for utilization equipment. It's the same 105% uh, one, oh, up and 90% down. I don't know what standard you're talking about. Uh, ANSI. Uh, oh, the ANSI for yeah, the utilities. Yes. You're right same, about it's that. The same, same, okay. same numbers. Utilities have their number. There's another table below that one table about the utilities and it gets into the equipment. And that has to do with nominal system voltages where yep. the motor MG um, standard had to do with the name, name plate, plate of the motor of the motors. All right, let's finish up um, having to do with generators. Now, we were talking about, this should be summary generators and, and voltages. It's a generator that's going to give us the voltage that's going to be transformed by transformers to get us to the load. So we have to know how do we generate power. We're going to talk about how we transform power in a little bit more detail. But we need to understand voltages. You have utility voltage range. You have equipment ratings. Um, and then you have motor ratings on voltage as well.